Hi friends, it's Pastor Harley from the Broadway Global Methodist Church. I'd like to share with you this devotion from Luke chapter 4. If you're going through the Bible with us uh, as we're reading through the Bible this year, you'd have read Luke chapter 4 today. And, uh, and the verses in 31 and 32 say, And Jesus went down to Capernaum, a city in Galilee. And as he was teaching them on the Sabbath, and they were astonished at his teaching, for his word possessed authority. Now, we're not given even the content of his, of his teaching. He's saying things like you hear in the Sermon on the Mount. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Or I say to you that you have heard that you shall not murder, but even if you hate your brother, you're liable to judgment. And one of the ways that Jesus taught was not just to cite something that the prophets had said or that Moses had taught, but he, but he built upon all that, but said, said things in the terms of, I say to you, Jesus' word possesses authority. He is not shy about that. Um, I, you know, any, anyone teaching and talking before people should always be careful to, to defer and say, okay, this is how I know what I'm saying is true. I have this authority that I'm leaning on. Jesus is that authority and his authority is, is his uh, position as teacher and his Messiah is affirmed by God um, uh, that, that testified to his son through signs and wonders, through his death and through his resurrection. But authority is, is a, an interesting thing. I know G.K. Chesterton said that uh, the difference between power and authority is if a, if a bull is rampaging through a china shop, you could stand up and say, well, you have great power, but no authority here. You can, power can destroy, power can shove things around, power can um, make, its, make its presence known, but authority means to order things into how they, they should be. Jesus is calling us back into the image of God that we are to recover. He is not just telling us how to keep the words that Moses gave us that, that were given to him from God to guide the people through life and set a, set a moral structure, but he is telling us how to, on top of that, to cure the sin of Adam in our lives, the original sin, the, the self-centered carnality that we have. Jesus wants to reach into your whole life, and he has the authority to make you who you should be. Trust him. Walk with him today. Amen.